In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamically updating progress bar for your Drupal Commerce products, um, something like this, uh, where that you something a progress bar like you typically see on Kickstarter or um, any sort of fundraising where you have a, a goal in mind and um, maybe have this kind of thermometer sort of progress bar. So the Commerce Goal module uh, makes this easy to set up. So let me show you how it works. Um, I have a site here that already has uh, Drupal Commerce installed and configured for, with the uh, Commerce Donate module so that I can take donations uh, for this campaign. So let's add Commerce Goal on here, set a goal for this campaign, and then add the progress bar. So first thing is just to install the module. Okay, once the module is enabled, then we need to do a little bit of setup to, uh, to get our goals to show up. So this particular product that I was looking at, okay, um, this is a donation, uh, this is a donation node, it's, uh, content type is donation, it comes with the commerce donate module. So I need to add a field to this content type that will uh, to hold the goal value. So I'm going to go to structure, content types, and then next to donation, I'm going to click manage fields. And I'm going to add a new field that's called goal. And it's going to be a price type field. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. Um, you don't have to call it goal, but that's obvious something that makes sense. Um, should have one value. All the default settings are fine. Uh, oops. So, well, let me go back here. <clears throat> so now that I have a goal field, uh, if I edit this, you can see that I can add in a goal. So let's say we need ten thousand dollars for this. So uh, currently my goal just displays like any typical field would show. So we can replace this um, with the progress bar. So if I go under structure, content types, again next to donation I'm going to click manage display. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move the goal up to the top of the page. So let's do that first. And then to switch it to the progress bar, if I look under format, <clears throat> there's a new option, Commerce Goal Progress Bar. So I select that, and then the, the only other configuration I need, I need to do is I need to tell it which field, um, which product reference field contains a list of the products that should be added up, um, or whose sales should be added up to make the total. So in this case, I only have one product reference field. It's the product field. So I'll set that and save. If you have a if if you're using Drupal Commerce normally, you're and you have a product display, you're almost always going to have that field product or some. It's going to already exist um, there for you. And now, here I have my goal. Oh, I probably should take rid, take away the label. So let's hide the label for goal on display. Okay, so now I have my progress bar here. Uh, there's currently no donations that have been accepted for this campaign. So let's add one. So I add $20 to the cart and let's go check out. So we'll fill in some
bogus data here. And I have the example payment module enabled, which just allows us to put random text in here and it'll work. Okay, so the checkout's complete. That order was taken. Um, and I believe that donation was for $20. So if we go back, you'll see now that the donation is for $20. Now the progress bar doesn't show because $20 is actually quite a small amount. If we had a smaller, let's make it $100 as our goal. And you can see the $20 will add up to more. Let's, let's actually put it back at 10,000 and let's run, run more transaction this time for a thousand dollars. So we will process this order. And now if we go back and look, you'll see that $1,020 have been raised. That's 10% or rounded to 10% of the goal amount of $10,000. So this will actually sum up <clears throat> all of the, uh, all of the, any orders that involve this product, it'll add it up. So it works really great with this donation. Um, it'll work for regular products as well. So if you have some other use case, um, let's see. It will allow you to, <clears throat> to do multiple products. So if you, if you have a product reference field that has multiple products set up, you can, do, you can select more than one and it will add up all of the sales of all of them. The only other uh, configuration piece, obviously you can override with CSS the look and feel of this. There's also a template file if you wanna change sort of the wording or what things show up here. And the only other configuration is under store, configuration goals. <clears throat> under here, you can set the order statuses that count towards the goal. So by default, Drupal Commerce will put an order in the pending status when it, after checkout. Um, so I have it set by default to pending, completed, and processing. Those are all the ones that happen after checkout. So, but if you didn't want pending orders to, uh, to be counted, you could just uncheck them and they won't be counted towards the goal. So that's all there is to it. Um, if you had <clears throat> multiple campaigns, um, you could set up multiple products in Drupal Commerce and multiple product display nodes. Um, and each of them could have their own goal and um, and, and then each of them will track its own product sales so that uh, you could have multiple campaigns running at once on your Drupal Commerce site. And uh, yeah, so that's it. That's the Commerce Goal module uh, on Drupal.org.